Hey guys, this is about DFS implementation using C++. So, there are two parts in here. One is inputting the graph and then traversing the graph. So, let us input an adjacency matrix and then traverse it recursively. We use standard template library that is STL. Uh, it helps in simplifying the things obviously. Let us take a look at Wikipedia's DFS algorithm, that is recursive DFS algorithm. Uh, it's quite simple actually. Um, send the first or source node to the function. If it uh, label it as discovered, then all the nodes that are adjacent to this or that are connected to the source node, whatever we send, if it is not discovered or visited, then recursively called dfs again with respect to the node that we discovered now back to editor so this push underscore back what it does is it um, pushes y or um, it y is the node that is connected to x so mm, so it gets stored behind this or uh, I uh, simply assume for now that this y is connected to x. So, <clears throat> so take a pen and paper, uh, make a graph and try inputting these things. So you will get a clear picture how it's done. So once if you have input, the if you have given the input for DFS, now let us traverse it. One is the source node. And we have sent the adjacent in adjacency matrix to the function. Here we are. And make the first node that is source node as true. So we have visited it. Visited it is a boolean. Boolean data type. It's a boolean vector. Boolean array, I mean. So we made the source node true. That is one. So now, from now, from one to adjacent of n dot size that is we traverse all the nodes that are connected to the source node that are adjacent to source node that is connected directly i mean so if they are not visited uh, print them uh, and then recursively call the dfs function again with note that now it is adjoint of n i we send the child node of the parent so that is source node of the pair of the source node yes so uh, assuming uh, this algorithm implementation is the one for mainly with one assumption that uh, all, there is only one connected component if there are many like some parts are not connected to anything or something like that then we have to uh, run a for loop in the main program main function uh, where uh, which traverses from uh, i to n minus 1 so sorry i which traverses from 0 to n minus 1 so it traverses through all the nodes and then uh, checks if it is there if uh, it is then goes to the recursive fun calls the recursive function and traverses everything and then again the next one and uh, there must be another condition if it is not if it is visited already then there is no need to visit uh, make a if condition in the recursive function that's what we do but here we are having the assumption there is only one connected component here 